In the early 1900s, the Germans constructed the Japoma Bridge, also known as the Idea German Bridge, over the Sanaga River near Idea, Cameroon. The steel arch bridge was designed and built by the Guthofnung Shed of Oberhausen. The bridge was assembled in Germany prior to delivery to allow for testing. It was then dismantled and shipped by boat to Cameroon in 1911. It is 160 meters long and was the largest structure in Africa at the time of its erection. Vertical columns beginning at the arch grille support the roadway. The arch's first half was assembled on the ground, while the second half was constructed on floating barges and then assembled. It survives in Cameroon as an architectural relic of the German colonial era. The bridge's strategic location played a role in the First and Second Battles of Adia during World War I. On 2 August 1937, the entire crew of the German ship Wahii paid the bridge a visit, with certain officers walking all the way up to the riverbank in what was believed to be a reconnaissance of the area. What? Until the early 1980s, the bridge served as the only crossing point for trains, vehicles, and pedestrians over the Sanaga River. It is now used as a pedestrian and bicycle path. Cameroon today, officially known as the Republic of Cameroon, is a country in West Central Africa. It is bordered by Nigeria to the west and north, Chad to the northeast, the Central African Republic to the east, and Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and the Republic of the Congo to the south. Its coastline lies on the Bight of Biafra, part of the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean. The country is sometimes identified as West African and other times as Central African due to its strategic position at the crossroads between West and Central Africa. Its nearly 25 million people speak 250 native languages. Large numbers of Cameroonians live as subsistence farmers. The country is often referred to as Africa in miniature for its geological, linguistic, and cultural diversity. Its cities with largest populations are Douala on the Wari River, its economic capital and main seaport, Yaoundé, its economic capital. Cameroon has some of the mega construction projects in Central Africa. In fact, it accounts for half of the top 10 mega construction projects in Central Africa. Here are 10 mega development projects Cameroon has undertaken to improve its citizens' standards of living. Welcome to Think Rich Africaith Community, which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist, because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. 10. Nactigal Hydroelectric Dam the Nachigal Hydroelectric Project will be constructed on the central course of Sanaga River, situated some 65 kilometers northeast of Yawundi. It is composed of roller-compacted concrete dams, a hedris channel, a power plant with seven generating units, a generation substation, and a transmission line. The Run of River Hydropower Plant has 420 megawatts capacity. This strategic project for Cameroon is developed by the Cameroonian project company, Nachtigal Hydropower Company, NHPC. The shareholders to the company are the Republic of Cameroon, Electricity de France, EDF, and International Finance Corporation, IFC. The company endeavors to comply with best national and international practices in terms of environmental and social management and infrastructure building. Upon completion, the hydropower plant will generate approximately 3 terawatt hours of electricity a year. The construction phase is estimated to create more than 1,500 jobs. It is estimated that the hydropower plant will help in saving $100 million in electricity generation costs in Cameroon. 9. Logan River Bridge 
Chad and Cameroon share a long border, maintain excellent relations, and trade mostly by land. They have identified strategic axes of socio-economic development and projects to be implemented jointly as part of the sub-regional integration process. The development of transport infrastructure is a priority and major projects are being initiated in this area. The project includes the construction of a bridge over the Logon River between Bangor in Chad and Yagua in Cameroon, the construction of a connecting road of approximately 14,180 kilometers on both sides between Yagua and Bangor, as well as related developments. The project is the first phase of the wider regional project integrating the road network in the Lake Chad area, which aims to rehabilitate the National Road 2, Magada Yagua, and the National Road 1, Maurawa including the bypass of Marua, and to provide for the maintenance of the road from N'Djamena to Bangor. The project will improve transport conditions and reduce travel time and costs. The crossing of the river at all times and its safety will be ensured. This will increase the movement of persons and goods between Cameroon and Chad, foster trade, and strengthen socio-cultural exchanges between the two countries. More broadly, the project will contribute to regional integration in the fragile Lake Chad region. In addition, economic activities are expected to develop along the bridge and road. The EU contribution will co-finance the bridge and associated socio-economic development. Razelbeck is the main contractor. 8. Lena Tabati Road The Cameroon Ministry of Public Works is upgrading the 115-kilometer road between Lena and Tabati. This project is part of a transport sector support program. The development of this road is part of the government's efforts to channel produce from the Nambam Sanaga Agricultural Basin to the main consumption centers of the Central African Economic and Monetary Community, CEMAC, through the Yaoundé Njemena Bangui, Yaoundé Libreville Bada, and Yaoundé Aweso Brazzaville Road Corridors. Apart from serving as a national road, the project road is a strategic alternative route for national and slash or international traffic between the northern and southern regions of Cameroon and to Chad. Upgrading this road segment and reducing its length should therefore help to boost the competitiveness of the road as compared to other corridors and consolidate the status of the project area as a transit point. The work scheduled include related activities, such as the development of rural roads, the rehabilitation of socioeconomic infrastructure, and the promotion of business activities for women. The project also addresses the institutional support needs of the transport and urban development sectors, with a view to ensuring complementarity and diversification of the bank's operations in Cameroon. The duration of project implementation is four years, and the total project cost is estimated at US $333.031 million. Works include a 7-meter wide carriageway and five bridges. Soja Sanam Cameroon is the primary contractor on this project. Seven. Yonde Hyatt Regency Hotel American brand Hyatt Regency Hotel plans to build a five-star hotel in Yonde. For that purpose, the Cameroonian company Glenview SA signed a 35-year lease, binding it with the government on September 5, 2019. Patrick Shea, head of Glenview, reveals that the Yonde Hyatt Regency Hotel will require an investment of $150 million close to 90 billion XAF. It will be a 31-story building with 300 high-standing rooms, 100 apartments for long stay, nine conference rooms. The hotel, whose construction period is 30 months, will also have a heliport. Cameroon is providing a secured property tax base on which the hotel can be built. 6. Yuande Douala Highway the Yo Unde Douala Highway is a modern road network of 196 kilometers connecting the country's two largest cities. The estimated cost of the first phase of its construction is XAF 338.7 billion VAT. Phase 1 of this project consists of building a 60-kilometer 2x2 lane freeway, extendable to three lanes, from kilometer point zero to the Bybody interchange. 
This implementation of this first phase was greatly delayed because of right-of-way release problems as well as financial challenges. For instance, on February 22, 2021, in Yaounda, when Minister of Public Works Emmanuel Nganu Jumesi was assessing the state of the road being built in the country. The contractors active on the Yaounda Douala Highway estimated that the government still owed them XAF 33.39 billion for this project. Cameroon plans to commission the first 60 kilometers of the Yaounda Douala Highway before the AFCON 2021, which will start in January 2022. This was revealed by Benoît Parfait Mbol Mbol, head of the Infrastructures Department of the Ministry of Public Works, during a field visit on April 6, 2021. However, to fulfill its ambition, the country will have to address numerous challenges. For instance, it will have to complete the construction of the first section of the highway. Also, the connection facilities need to be completed to connect the first section to the Yaoundé road axis and the National 3 at Bonibol. Next, the country will have to build functional infrastructure, tolls, weighing stations, rest and service areas, as well as emergency lanes, and sign a concession contract for the operation of this section of the highway. Five, Douala Grand Mall. The Douala Grand Mall is a commercial center with 18,000 square meters of lettable area. It embodies a multiplex of five cinemas of 1,000 seats, a Carrefour supermarket, 160 shops and stores, 22 restaurants, a spa, 640 parking places on the first phase. The second phase, the business park, will be having a five-star hotel and offices. The project dubbed the Douala Grand Mall and Business Park is a grade a mixed-use infrastructure developed by Actis in the local subsidiary Douala Retail and Convention Center, DRCC. Expected to cost $0.20 billion, the Douala Grand Mall is also among five mega-construction projects in Cameroon. Four, Japoma Stadium. Also appearing on to the 10 mega construction projects in Cameroon is the Japoma Stadium. Also known as Stade Omnisport de Douala, official name, the project will be located in the Japoma locality in Douala. It will be a 50,000 capacity all-seater stadium, which also will have basketball courts, handball, volleyball, and tennis courts, an Olympic swimming pool of eight lanes, conference centers, commercial centers, a four-star luxury hotel, and a parking lot. The stadium will be mostly used for football, but it will also have an athletic track. The Japoma Stadium is expected to cost around $143 million, with 75% of the project financed by the Turkington Bank. It will also host some matches during the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. 3. Olem Sports Complex U1 Day The Olem Sports Complex involves the construction of an ultra-modern recreation facility in Yound. Construction started in earnest in 2019, when main contractor Magil transported the first contingent of equipment to the site. The project will include construction of Paul Bia Stadium, with a capacity of 60,000 seats, all covered, two training stadiums, with 1,000 seats each, a gymnasium, handball, basketball, volleyball, tennis, an Olympic swimming pool, a five-star hotel with 70 rooms, a shopping mall, a museum, and a cinema. The Paul Bia Stadium, named after President Paul Bia, is currently under construction on a surface area of 34 hectares, 84 acres, in the Olemba neighborhood in Yuande, some 13 kilometers, 8.1 miles from the city center. The project is estimated to cost $0.28 billion to construct. 2. Limbi Douala Idea Yaounde Hydrocarbon Pipeline Project It is a 355 kilometers long pipeline under construction in Cameroon. The first 110 kilometers section, which will connect Limbe in the southwest to Douala in the littoral. After the Douala Limbe section, 
the 3PL consortium heading the project will build another section linking Douala to Idea and covering 70 Kem, which will follow by one between Idea and Yaoundé, a bit longer, 175 kilometers. Funds for this project will be provided by a set of investors from Korea, Switzerland, China, Russia, Nigeria, etc., which will invest 30% of the capital. The rest will be borrowed from banks. The project will cost $0.35 billion to construct. 1. Sonera Expansion Project, Limba This is the largest and most expensive project under construction in Cameroon. The project involves the construction and modernization of a mega refinery plant in Limba. It is being spearheaded by a consortium of French firms Sous SA, Soja Sedum, and Ingenica, who are providing technology licensing, engineering, and construction services on the 2.1 million ton slash year Sonera refinery in Limbe. Though the volume of this anticipated production increase has not been revealed, it is expected that after the completion of both phases of the expansion and modernization works at Sonera, yearly production of this refinery should increase by about 1.4 million tons. The first phase will cost $0.47 billion to construct.